Hello there. I'm not really a US citizen, but I guess things are getting kind of crazy the day before elections. And I get kind of sad when I famous people who usually don't talk about politics make their own statements about reasons to vote for people because it sometimes it gets kind of immature, it kind of shows how little research they've done for the other on the other side. But yeah, if I can, I will vote for Hillary. But I will vote for Uncle Bernie, but that's not a choice now. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think that's the most important thing right now. Because rules don't change overnight. The president is just one person. And even if Trump becomes the president, I'm not sure he'll be able to push a lot of laws because given the hate he's been receiving from both sides, even from some conservatives, and even Hillary becomes president, well, anti-vaxxers and climate change matters don't just appear, don't just disappear overnight. Presidents aren't your savior. Uh, well, like, uh, yeah. You can't just depend everything on them. If you want change for the better, maybe you should do your research, build a platform, and broadcast high quality arguments to actually change people. And maybe work locally first with your school or your town where you live and see if it really works. But of course, I don't know. I'm not a US citizen. I'm from People's Republic of China. Um, but you are probably from US if you speak English and according to my channel's statistics. In the past couple months, I really learned about not just the problems people are facing in US or other places, but also how to argue with people and all the logic fallacies and how those fallacies then get abused, for example, and how to formulate coherent opinions, most importantly, how to have constructive conversations with people who believe very different things than you. Even though now the election season will end without me casting any vote, I feel like the time I've spent on it really got me some good experiences, and I can use that for the rest of my life. So this is what I'll say. It's okay you voted Trump or someone else as long as you did your best, listen to both sides and all that, or not, as long as you voted for the person that you think is best or as good as they can be for the future. That's oh, that's what it's about, isn't it? That's what voting is about. You have to vote, else nobody cares your opinion, nobody cares to make policies for you. So yesterday I learned Apparently, only a third of young people here in Japan vote, and the laws laws get made here are very much to the elderly's favor because they are the ones who vote after all, and there's a lot of them because young people apparently aren't busy baby making, <laughs> but that's another problem on its own. Uh, anyway, I'm joining a club at my local university to promote political participation in high school. So that's gonna be fun. And that's all I have for this video. See you guys.